Hey there, this is Akshit Manan. Welcome back to a new video. And this video is part of my Flutter full stack mobile app development course where we are learning Node.js, Express.js, TypeScript, MongoDB, Render and Postman with Flutter. So we are building full stack mobile applications with our custom backend. So if you have not seen this course, you can check out the link in the description and hope to see you there. Right. So in this video, what are we going to learn? We are going to connect a Firebase application or Firebase project with our Flutter application. And you already know it, right? You already know it. But the crux is we have to do it using CLI. Now, because if we have to, like, first of all, let's create a project, right? So let me call it, let's say, Flutter TypeScript Workshop, Flutter TypeScript Project or Flutter TypeScript uh, Course, maybe, right? So we don't allow uh, this underscores, Flutter TypeScript Course, right? So this is the application that we're building in the course, right? Let's click on continue and let's click on continue and let's choose a default project. So this is how we build or we initialize a Firebase project. And after that, we have to add Android, we have to add iOS, we have to add web app, or we have to add uh, Linux, Windows, Mac, and everything, right? But using this uh, CLI, what will happen? Just you have to write a few commands in your terminal, right? And your Firebase project will be initialized for or integrated for Android, iOS, Mac OS, and everything, right? So that's the beauty of this CLI. If you want to read the article, then I would recommend you, I'll put the link in the description. You can read this article on this Firebase CLI. Just a few commands you have to type in the terminal and your Firebase project will be ready, right? So again, let's click on continue. So this you have to do it, right? There is no skip in this, this you have to do it. But after this, Android, iOS and web app, this you can integrate using your CLI, command line interface, right? That's the full form of CLI. Now, first of all, what you have to do is you have to hit a command. You have to install the Firebase tools in your uh, computer, right? So whether you are on Windows, Linux, Mac, you have to run this command npm install. And yes, you should have node installed in your computer. So npm is a node package manager, so you can use npm. So npm install dash g, that means global Firebase tools. So you need to have Firebase tools in your uh, project, right? In your, uh, not in your project, in your computer. Right, so I already have it, so but still it will install. So I got some issues. Uh, so basically it is uh, not allowing me because uh, the permission is denied. So if you get this same issue, what you have to do is just before the command, just hit sudo or just write sudo. And after that, you have to write the same command again. So I'm going to paste the same command, sudo npm install dash g firebase tools. Then it is asking you to enter the password of your computer. So let's enter the password and let's hit enter. Now it should not give me any issue and it should work. So after this, the Firebase tools will be installed in my Mac, right, in my computer. So it is giving me again that issue. Permission denied libs, node modules, Firebase, permission denied, rename to Firebase tools, Firebase tools. Okay, I got it. So actually it is already having that Firebase tool, so I won't install it again, that is fine. But I already have those tools, right? So that is fine. And now after that, I'm after this, I'm going to run this another command that will be dart pub global activate the flutter fire CLI. So this again, you have to run it in your terminal, not in your project, right? So again, let's hit enter. And this is going to install this fire uh, flutter fire CLI and you can see that it is activated and it is installed, right? So that is fine. Now what you have to do is you have to go inside your application. So this is the application. Let me just refresh. This is the application that we are building in the course. That is your tweets application, right? In this tweets application, people can uh, write tweets, put tweets, and this we are uh, storing in the MongoDB using Node Express TypeScript server. Right now, you have to go inside the terminal of this project. Now, let me hit Flutter Fire Configure, or even before that, let me hit Clear. Okay, now let me hit Flutter Fire Configure. Okay, now you can see all my projects are here, and I want to install. Uh, for this project that is Flutter TypeScript types Flutter TypeScript course, right? So Flutter TypeScript course and hit enter, right? So which all platforms? So you can see it has by default selected Android, iOS, Mac OS and web. So I want to, yes, I want to uh, install for all of these. So let's hit enter again, right? So I want to install Firebase for Android, iOS, web and Mac OS. So it is automatically going to, uh, install or do everything that like you know you have to do build you have to make some changes in the build.gradle file then you have to uh, add your google services.json then you have to add your uh, uh, what we can say in the app delegate.swift for your is project everything it is going to do it on its own 
we don't need to do anything so let's just wait and let it uh, complete its project or complete its task right so you can see uh, it has done for android and it has done for mac os and now it is doing for web app let's wait so basically uh, yes let's hit enter yes 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 and we are done so now let's go to let me decrease the font size now let's go to android let's go to app you can see google services.json file i did not add it has added it in uh, by its own right and the build.gradle it has made all the changes that it had to made and everything that that was required it is now done maybe like one thing that we should do is multi dex enable to so multi uh, dex multi dex enable true this we should actually do it right rest everything i think uh, is done similarly let's verify for ios let's go to runner and let's see yeah google services info.plist file let's add it i have not added it right similarly if i refresh my firebase portal let me refresh i think all the three four apps that we have integrated they should be already uh, be here right you can see four apps so i did not add manually android ios or web right it has all automatically added it so if i go to these four apps all of these four apps are already here if i go to project settings it has automatically added all of these four apps right i have not added uh, added these apps right so this is the beauty of this cli uh, like otherwise we had to do it on our own for all of these four applications right perfect now let's go to lib uh, one thing that we have to do you can see this firebase options right you can see this firebase options we just need to add this package in our pubspec.yml so i'll just say add firebase core to dependencies right so this is required we need to add this pubspec.yml package and now go to main.dart and in this main.dart you just need to import that file uh, firebase options and uh, you can just write your code for firebase initialize so i can see uh, i can write it over here so let's say async so first thing that we have to do is your uh, widget flutter binding any uh, like flit, uh, widget binding flutter binding dot ensure initialized this we have to do and after that you can say await firebase uh, await firebase dot initialize app initialize app and you can define your options so from where are these options coming they are coming from this file so this file also we have not added it has auto generated this file right where it is defining all the options for android ios mac os and windows right so this is also auto generated so go to main dot dot and in the main uh, in the options so just say default firebase options which is coming from here so if i if you go over here you can see this default firebase option just copy it in the main dot dot just say default firebase options dot current platform so it is going to automatically detect the current platform whether it is android ios web app mac os and it is going to uh, do all the required settings that's it guys that's it what we had to do and i think we are done so let's just save it and i think we are ready to uh, shut down this application and restart it so that if it works that means firebase is configured perfectly right so let's go to terminal not in terminal basically in debug console and let's see if it works if it works that means it's done and now you can see it is working and it has worked without giving me any issue firebase is again initialized and integrated in my flutter app so i think that's it that's the only thing that you do, that you had to do and if you face any issue feel free to use the comment section or join my community the link is in the description and i hope to see you in the flutter plus typescript full stack mobile app development course so till the next video keep coding keep innovating and thanks a lot guys